Hey guys, Caden back. Um, haven't seen you in a while. I'm gonna show you how to use a capo. Stick around. Okay, so basically a capo changes the key that you're playing the guitar in. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna do regular G chord. So obviously your, your do is on the G. Sorry, that was really loud, microphone. Um, G. So if you put the capo on any one of the frets, let's say we're gonna raise it, uh, we're gonna raise it a full step. So from G, we're gonna move it not on the first fret, but on the second fret, just behind the fret. You don't want to stick it right directly on the fret because it, the sound, it's not gonna, it's the same reason you want to put your fingers behind it to make a chord. Um, so you want to make sure that you put the capo right behind the fret. Make sure that all the strings are there, that there's no buzz or anything. And then you simply make a, a G chord the exact same way that you did um, when the capo wasn't here. So if your um, vocal range, if you're trying to sing something, if your vocal range is a, a little higher than standard tuning, um, you might want to raise it up a couple of steps. And it, that goes for everything. So I'll do that with a D. D, you can hear it. So if I go back and put it back on the second fret, and I like to do it on top because it's really awkward trying to do it this way. But other, I mean, it's your preference, however however you want to do it. Um, it's a lot easier to put the capo on top, right behind the fret. Make sure you have all the strings there. And then, like I said before, just make the same chord, same shape, um, same fret. Just kind of imagine that there is no headstock there anymore. And this is your new dough. Dough, I lied, this is it. And there's use a capo. Um, pretty simple, pretty basic. If you guys have any other questions, leave a comment below. Um, subscribe. I don't know where it is on this thing. Subscribe to us. Um, tell your friends and we'll see you next time.